Feature Friday. The freshest. <sighs> One of the things you guys know I'm obsessed about and I love learning all the time about is percussion. And this is called Shiv Yijanti uh -huh. Festival or something and along those lines. And it's been so talked about that if I should check this out. So it actually happened, I think it happens in February. Uh, this happened back in 2016 or, so, or around that time. And it's been very requested for me to have a look at okay, and, and okay. ballet, obviously. So mm -hmm. let's, let's give it a watch and then perhaps we can do a little bit deeper research on what it actually means and stuff like that. That sounds like weapons. Wow, my God, what the hell? <laughs> That's crazy, though. So many people. Where, where is the sound coming from? Behind the cameraman, I think. Yeah, that's what we're doing now. Okay. <laughs> this is crazy, though. Talk about building tension. It's cool to see women playing the drums as well. That's so cool. That shit looks heavy. Yeah, I was gonna say. Move, bro. <laughs> <laughs> Yay! Bro, I'm I'm losing my head. Where is that sound coming from? It looks choreographed. Isn't that cool? That's accelerating. <laughs> he got literally shot in the face with a bunch of pedals. Imagine, imagine you don't know that this festival is happening. Oh yeah, could you imagine? Walk down it's like the street. No, well, 
To dum, begin dum, with. Da, 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 dum. You're like, oh, oh my, my god. god. The Fucking world yeah, is ending. Run, the thing is, like, if you look at the video, there's people beyond the horizon. And then there's, like, even even further away from where you think, like, it's so, there's so many people and there's it's so packed that you can see the sunset <laughs> in the background and you still see people. I've you never, know? I've never heard uh, That's mad. a bass resonate that much like uh it's so uh, the funny thing is that it's not very it's not very highly rhythmical it seems to be very fragmented mm -hmm. um it's not very continuous i mean uh it's obviously rhythmical by nature but it's not very continuous it's very fragmented it's actually kind of hard to tell w what the call outs are and like usually you're able to like pick it out but not here this is so cool Dude, but it's so that, that, euphoric. That boom, bro, that f***ing blows. I think it's the collective effect, you know? So many people hitting it at the same time. Is it this as well? <laughs> How cool! <laughs> I love this idea, though, of... I find this so intriguing. I'll, I'll probably be watching this in my off time. I don't know. First time I think we're ever gonna sort of go this deep into something. Uh, I'm so intrigued about percussion from all over the world. Um, I don't know how interesting it is to watch for other people. It probably isn't as interesting as it though. is to me. Um, but that combination of different styles of drumming and different styles of sticks uh -huh. um, is so Cause cool. Because what what do they what do you call I the blante in, in in English? Oh, a redoblante would be a snare drum. Ah, uh, yeah. So, like, they were, they were hitting, like, similar to snare drums. But the drums sticks, for the I've sticks never look... been able to figure this out. But, like, those sticks are so different um, to anything I've ever... They also look very flexible. They look they like look... straws. They look... I don't know. Like, the best idea to explain it would be, like, they look... They look like glow sticks. <laughs> Genuinely. I don't know how to explain it, but yeah, they're I've, so fascinating. I've seen it a few times. You know what other place they do it as well? They, they use it as well in Brazil sometimes. I don't know ah. why you would. It, it really does. You can really whiplash the thing. You can really yeah, whip it. Yeah, and it gives like a, 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 a higher note ping to, yeah. to, the, to the actual dr snare drum. It also means that the rim shot is so different sounding. It's kind of plasticky as well. See that, and they hold it. Whoa. I wonder what they're chanting. Seems like a different festival, though. it's very different. I think attire. it's the same, though. That's very cool, that tum tum. Taka 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 tum tum. Taka 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 Yeah, I think it's the same festival. See that? That technique of holding the sticks like that? The, the snare drum guy, I don't know what that would be. It's, it's kind of like a snare drum, but putting the... It's more like a timbal, actually, probably closer to a timbal oh, drum. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, or a tom, like, like, like a very small tom, um, pinged up to hell, like tension-wise. It's really tense, yeah. Uh, and I don't think you can hit it with a stick because it's so tense, it would probably snap. So hitting it with those type of, like, really They're thin lighter, sticks. yeah. The thing is, fucking hell, seeing someone hit sticks like that, it's so weird to me. This guy here. Uh-huh. It's like... That's crazy. It's so strange. It's very interesting, but that's what I mean. And this is the funny thing. Uh, from Obviously, from the schools that I come from and stuff like that, um, we were never very... Uh, that's what it's called. We were never very that strict on things. I guess, like, holding sticks in a specific manner and playing drums in a specific manner and percussion. But... I think the, the more you sort of learn music, it's more about unique, not uniform. And the, mm. the, there's so many different cultures that do things differently. There's so many drums that require different styles of drums uh, playing. Sorry, there's so many people that can 
you want innovators. You want That's cultures right. to do things different. You want people from all over the world to do things different. So it seems the festival is Shiv Jayanti, also simply known as Chhatrapati Shivaji or Maharaj Javanti. It's a festival and public holiday of the Indian state of Maharashtra. Ah, cool. Maharashtra, yeah. The festival celebrated on February 19th. So I was correct with that. Celebrating the birth anniversary of Shivaji the first. Is that what that says? Go, mate, do your thing, Wiki. <laughs> Shivaji, or one, or also referred to as Chapatra Shivaji Mah Maharaj, was an Indian ruler and a member of the Bonsle Maratha clan. Eventually, G Shivaji carved out his own independent kingdom from the declining Adil Shahi Sultanate fuck you know, of Bijapur, which formed the genesis of the Maratha Empire. Oh, how cool! He established Hindavi... Some people celebrate this day as per Hindu calendar in Maharashtra. Mm. I see. So it's more like a historical thing uh, uh, right. rather than a religious. Um, uh, cool. Maybe that maybe that uh, alludes a lot to the marching band effect of like uh, the marching drums and stuff because it feels like it's more of a of a um, uh, like an offering to to a kingdom or or, or a ruler, um, like drums of calls for war or something like that i don't know that's what i related to with whatever it's, ignorant that might be it's so interesting though that that drum, it's so lively though that i would be so intrigued to learn more about so perhaps if any of you uh, know more details and stuff like that um we are probably slowly ranking up to start doing the podcast soon probably like in a few months or something like that so there's plenty of ideas and there's plenty of things for us to go in depth uh, to. That's the only thing I dislike about doing short videos like this, that like, I, we can't really go in super depth. Um, but I hope at least it's, super it's somewhat entertaining uh, to you guys because it's super entertaining to me because this is what I would be doing in my off time anyway. Yeah. So, goodbye. <laughs>